Hello medicos. We'll start with stomach. So what is stomach? Stomach is a muscular bag and is a most distensible organ of GIT or digestive tube. Its above end is connected with esophagus and the lower end is connected with duodenum. So above end esophagus and lower end with duodenum. Now the stomach acts as a reservoir. Reservoir for what? For food. And it helps in digestion of carbohydrates, fats and proteins. Now we'll move towards the location. For seeing the location, we'll magnify this image and we'll divide the body into or we divide the abdomen into four quadrants. Right. So this is your left and this is your right. So this stomach, this stomach lies in the upper left quadrant of the body. So, and in this figure, we'll outline the stomach first. So, here comes the up, this curvature of the stomach and here is the lower one. Okay. So, here we can make out in how much quadrant does the stomach lie. It lies in 1, 2 and 3. What are the names? Epigastric region or epigastric quadrant left hypochondria and umbilical now we'll make the notes of this so location the location is upper left part of body it lies in three quadrant that is epigastric umbilical and left hypochondriac right now we'll move towards the shape and position so stomach is very distensible organ and it is about 25 centimeter long and sorry sorry this point will be included in size and capacity we are about to learn about the shape and position so the shape and position of the stomach lies is dependent upon two factors i will change the color it depends upon two factors. those are the degree of tone of muscles muscles of first of all of stomach and degree of tone of muscles of body right so in normal active person in normal active person that is sthenic person the shape of the stomach is somewhat j shaped Okay, I'll underline normal active person. But in case of tall person, that is hyposthenic person, this stomach is J shaped with broad and strong I'll write strong sorry it's strong okay but in case of very active person the stomach is almost or is horizontal in shape or in position 
the shape of the stomach can be studied in living by radiography but but how means you will you must be saying ma'am we do x-ray or we uh, or we do x-ray but we are not able to see the soft tissues so to study the shape of the stomach there is a specific type of uh, uh, di- diagnosis or not not the diagnosis specific type of test or any method which is used to study the shape of uh, shape of the stomach that is barium study what does uh, ha- what happens in barium study in this a barium meal is given this barium this barium is radio opaque sorry about the spelling it's radio opaque and what happens when you give the barium dye and if the stomach is totally uh, fine no ulcers no perforation on x ray it will appear whole white in color means our x ray is black and white right so it will appear white in color and it will properly take the shape of the stomach right now we will move towards the size and capacity of the stomach back to which one color we'll take the red one we are done with black we'll take the red the stomach is very distensible organ very distensible organ and it is about 25 cm long we'll study the capacity of stomach in three in three stages at birth at puberty and adult right at birth the capacity of stomach is about 30 ml at puberty it's 1000 which is about 1 liter ml and which is about 1 liter and in case of adult it is 1.5 to 2 liters okay now we'll move towards the external features 